video, Meg paid Givenchy to rip Charlotte's dress off. A few days ago, we posted about a rumour we found regarding what allegedly went down during the bridesmaid's dress fitting for Prince Harry and Meghan's 2018 wedding. That post just blew up like crazy, so thank you to everyone who's read it thus far. Anyway, we've been asked about Jessica and Ivy Mulroney's involvement in the alleged bullying of Princess Charlotte. Now, we need to stress that we don't condone a parent encouraging their child to bully another child. Now, for those who haven't read the previous post, that's okay because what this one is about is the same thing, just told from a different perspective. According to the Tumblr post we posted above, it's said that Ivy isn't a kind child and wasn't nice. In fact, her mother and Meghan encouraged her to bully a then three-year-old princess Charlotte. The girls were allegedly pitted against each other and it was widely known that the Duchess of Sussex didn't want a niece and nephew involved in the wedding party. In other news, Meghan lamented Kate was getting first dibs on a designer they both particularly liked despite the now Princess of Wales wasn't even Queen, it's been claimed. While the two royals were different in many aspects, they shared a love for the work of fashion designer Erdem Moraligu, the journalist wrote. While she'd donned multiple dresses by this Canadian-Turkish creator prior to joining the firm and at private events, the Duchess of Sussex was not seen wearing a piece by the designer at an official royal engagement until the Commonwealth Day service in March 2019. Kate, on the other hand, was seen donning a number of pieces by the artist over the years, including for a first ever official trip to Ottawa, only weeks after a wedding in 2011. The then Duchess of Cambridge was reportedly given priority to designs by the Erden brand due to the fact that she was already a client. This preferential treatment, Miss Tomney reported, didn't go down well with Meghan. The journalist wrote in the Telegraph, Suffice to say, the notion of a soon-to-be sister-in-law receiving preferential treatment did not, it's claimed, go down well with Meghan. Miss Tomini also reported the claim the Duchess of Sussex was so puzzled by the honour granted to a sister-in-law, she questioned why she was given priority over her, especially as Kate wasn't even the Queen. Prince Harry didn't shy away from the issue of the tensions between his sister-in-law and his wife either in his memoir Spare, or in the interviews which accompanied its launch. Speaking to ITV's Tom Bradby, Harry said that even before meeting Meghan, he had a lot of hope that working with his wife, alongside Prince William and Kate, would bring them all closer together. He continued, I don't think they were ever expecting me to get into a relationship with someone like Meghan who had, you know, a very successful career beforehand. There was a lot of stereotyping going on. I was guilty of that as well in the beginning. Explaining what he meant by stereotyping, he added, American actress, right? and that was playing out in the British press and the media at the time. In his book, the Duke delved into the notorious bridesmaid's dress row between Kate and Meghan, which left his then bride-to-be sobbing on the floor. Meghan herself had also touched upon a bond with Kate while appearing in the six-part Netflix docuseries released last month. Recalling a first ever meeting with the now Prince and Princess of Wales, Meghan said, I was a hugger, I've always been a hugger. I didn't realize that that's jarring for a lot of British people I guess I started to understand very quickly 